Hey guys, today I want to share my thoughts on the ATC25 after a couple of years of using and I want to let you know why I am switching to a different brand. I've been using the ATC25 for a couple of years now. I was pretty happy with uh, with them in my home studio, but after making the switch to a bigger room, let's say I was a bit underwhelmed on how the ATC25 performed. The ATC25 have, in my opinion, one big issue, the lack of bass is just something atrocious. Even though the quality of the bass is really nice and it's punchy, they don't go that deep. I believe they go down to 50 Hertz and that's barely enough for any modern uh, genre. In my home studio, I was uh, mixing and mastering at a lower level and I didn't mind the fact that I was uh, lacking a bit of bass. After moving to this new room where the distance between me and the speaker increased, after pushing the speakers a bit harder, I noticed that the sound is not what I was used to at a lower level. It's not bad, but I am struggling a bit with mixing right now. The mixes don't translate that good, especially in the low end, even with a Trino of Nova on the ATCs. So it's a bit of a struggle to have my projects translating from system to system. And that's really important for me. What really made me consider making the switch was a pair of EVE 2070s. I've mixed exclusively for uh, two months on those speakers and the mixes translated decently. So I had no issues. With that in mind, I really started to wonder if I really need the ATCs in my life with the big compromise and that being the lack of bass. I made the decision that I don't want to make that compromise anymore. You can see the big beast right here. It's a main EVE uh, speaker. I will have a video on that uh, fairly soon. I made the decision to switch completely to EVEs and sell my ATCs. Before the ATCs, I had a pair of A17Ms from uh, PSI. Those were really beautiful and if I had the budget right now, I would probably go for the PSI's uh, once again, but for the A25M and the uh, big double uh, subwoofer, I think that pair is just amazing. I've listened to that, but that's out of my budget. Making the switch from the A17M to the ATC's in my head or how I felt at the moment was an improvement, even though I think I prefer the mids from the PSI a bit more rather than the ATCs. Right now I am a bit conflicted because I know this sounds like a horrible review for the ATCs, but it's not. I really love the speakers. The speakers are amazing for what they are, but the lack of bass really destroys them. Like I've said, I prefer the mids on the PSI a bit more than the ATCs. I struggled with the mids of the ATCs for a bit. I'm struggling right now in this particular room. I don't know why is that. It might be the room, but I have troubles with my mixes translating in the mid range. The mid range on the ATCs is punchy, is detailed, but I think it's a bit too much. I think uh, the speakers are really mid forward. That's not a bad thing for, for mixing, but it's not a well-balanced speakers in my opinion. It's amazing for carving the mid range. It's amazing for detailed work in that specific range, but it's a bit too much. And sometimes I do struggle with that when listening to my mixes on a different system. I tend to have issues with uh, certain frequencies, but the mid dome on the ATC is quite nice, especially for mixing. For mastering, I think you will have to fight with it a bit. Maybe on the bigger ATCs where you have a more balanced uh, speaker, the things are different. On the 25s, this is the issue that uh, that I have. Build quality on the ATCs is just top notch, incredible. No issue whatsoever there. They are massive. Uh, one speaker is uh, 35 kilos, uh, really heavy. 
the quality of materials that they used is really nice but i have one big complaint about the mid dome the mid dome is treated with a sticky uh, substance i live in romania where dust is uh, a big issue we have new constructions all over the place so with time i've noticed that the mid dome collects dust collects particles and i really hate that because i don't want to see beautiful speaker like this looking dirty it's just something that i mind and i don't know if this affects in the long run the performance of the mid dome or not i think it's not affecting the the performance but it's something that really bothers me no issue whatsoever with the speakers and i've been using them non-stop on a daily basis for years now i am moving to eve i think that the main eve is going to be a more balanced uh, speaker but who knows i still uh, have to receive the the other one and i will make my judgment then going back to the atcs i think these are phenomenal speakers for mixing i think this is uh, a phenomenal speaker for the second pair of speakers if you have the space and the budget i would not go for the 25s i would go for the 45s or even the 50. it's something about the 25 that's bothering me sound related and that's what i've noticed after listening to other sets of speakers when you listen just to the atcs it's great but once you start listening to other speakers you will notice that the mid forward nature of the speaker is uh taking the show and it's not in a, a good way not for me at the end of the day this is an amazing speaker and for mixing and near field situation i think you can uh, live with uh, the lack of bass but if you are serious about mixing and mastering i think this is just not enough i hope that you enjoyed this video if you did drop a like subscribe Leave a comment if you have any questions.